Today, the Duke of York met up with a longtime friend and sometimes nemesis of the royal family, Corporal Crouch and Ivy, the Shetland Pony. He seemed to get along fine with Cruachan, but not all of his relatives have not been so lucky. Given his name, Cruachan Ivy is, unsurprisingly, the fourth Cruachan to serve as the regimental mascot of the Royal Regiment of Scotland, but the royal family's connection dates back to the very first. Princess Louise, Queen Victoria's daughter, gifted the pony to the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders, the organization that would later become the Royal Regiment of Scotland, in 1929. Princess Louise must have thought well enough of Cruachan if she were to give him as a present. But the Shetland pony's relationship with the royals would not remain so strong. The various Cruachans have been a little temperamental and stubborn at times, Rod Mackenzie, a curator of the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders Museum at Stirling Castle, told the Soxman. It's true, Cruachans are known to have a mischievous side. There are photos of Cruachan too drinking beer. And Cruachan I had a habit of escaping his stable and kicking unlucky civilians. Just last year, Cruachan Ivy nibbled at Prince Harry's fingers as he and Meghan Markle tried to pet him. Cruachan too managed to bite through Queen Elizabeth's glove during a parade, and the incident may have affected a relationship with subsequent Cruachans. In July of 2017, Crouch and Ivy made a good faith effort to get a bite out of the Queen's bouquet. She pulled it back, reportedly telling him to go away. On his Twitter, you can see his side of the story, he simply thought the Queen was giving him a treat. Given the British monarch's much documented love of horses, the Cruachans must have stepped in it to get on her bad side. They met again in August 2018, and Crouch and Ivy took the opportunity to relive himself in the Queen's presence. He did not defend himself on.